Hello, welcome back to the channel for another coin hunt. Today we have a thousand pounds of two pound coins to have a hunt through. I'm not sure when this bag was sealed, but I, I think it might say the 3rd of March. And this one here was sealed on the 8th of March. All right, let's get these bags opened up and see what we can find. And while those bags are being opened up, let's have a quick look at the book to see which designs we're still after. We need three Commonwealth games still. England, Northern Ireland, which is the rarest two pound coin in circulation, and Scotland. We ticked off Wales early on, but we haven't seen any more Commonwealth since then. On page two, we need the Beijing handover, which is also a tricky coin to find. And after that, we have everything up to and including the Great Fire of London. And the first commemorative of the day is Brunel's portrait. So this is one of a pair of coins, the other, ones be the other one being Brunel's achievements. Fairly common though, that one will be going back to the bank. And here we have the Rugby World Cup. This is the first commemorative two pound coin in the bimetallic finish. Check it for a rotation error just to make sure. I think this one's absolutely fine. Apparently there are a few kicking around with rotation errors. Very cool. Oh, I see something coming up. <laughs> Brilliant. So here we have a Navy Centenary. So this is a very low minted coin, only 650,000 of them. Uh, we've been really, really lucky with finding these recently though. I think we've had six or seven in recent hunts. Jodie Clark on the back. No flag error on this one. Sometimes there's some extra cut up at the top of the mast here, which adds a little bit, little bit of value. Not on this one though, but still an excellent find. So the first keeper of the day. Here we have VE Day to mark the end of World War II, the most common commemorative two pound coin. Ah, lovely. And here we have a Robert Burns. So this one is a low tier keeper. Very nice too. Oh wow, and here we have another Robert Burns. Very cool indeed, so that's two for the hunt. And here we have another VE day. And fairly good nick, that one. Second one for the day. This one here will be something. Let's have a look. Uh, it's a Shakespeare's Comedies. So this is one of a three coin set, the other two being Tragedies and Histories. This one is the lowest minted of the three. In my book, that one is a keeper, a low tier keeper at least. We have Marconi, it's a common one, that one goes back to the bank. There's quite a bit of extra cud just in the middle of this one here. Put that aside as a curiosity. And here we have our second Marconi of the day.
And here we have Darwin. This one is a low tier keeper now. Um, it's one of my favorite designs, if not my favorite design. Absolutely love this coin. Oh, and here we have Shakespeare's histories. So this is the second Shakespeare coin we've found today. I'll put it next to the comedies. See so here we can find a tragedies as well. And here we have Act of Union. So we'll just check this one for a rotation error. Of course, I do check all the coins afterwards for any errors at all. Uh, but this one is known to have a rotation error, so I'm just doing that on the camera now. That one is absolutely fine though. And here we have another VE day. That's the third one of the hunt. We do have one commemorative in there. This one is a an act of union. Again, let's just check it for a rotation error. Absolutely fine again. Here we have Charles Dickens for the first time today. It's a pretty common one. And Charles Dickens number two. And here we have Lord Kitchener. So this is to mark the outbreak of World War I. Uh, in itself, it's a common coin, but there is an, a known error on this one, um, a mule error where the obverse and the reverse don't match. So let's turn it over and have a look at the bottom. Two pounds, that's correct. If two pounds is missing, then you're in luck. And here we have Florence Nightingale. Again, a pretty common one. Very nice design, but unfortunately not a keeper. This one's going to be something. Let's have a look. Abolition of the slave trade. So another common one, uh, just worth keeping an eye out for the NIFC version of this, which has the smooth finish and the letters uh, DG just below and to the right of the seven. The David Gentleman. This one's absolutely the normal circulating one though. Charles Dickens number three. And here we have Brunel's achievements. So this is the sister coin to the portrait, which we found earlier. In fact, it was the first one we found in the hunt. It's a common one and goes back. Here we have another Robert Burns. That's three in the hunt. They're not that easy to find normally. And another Shakespeare histories. And here we have Trinity House. Borderline keeper this one, starting to get into the lower mintage figures. something. 
it is World War One Army Centenary. So this is a very common coin, but just worth checking for the rotation errors on this one as well. Quickly followed by another Trinity House. We have another Charles Dickens, number four for the day. And another abolition of the slave trade. Another Brunel's achievements. Here we have another Darwin, low tier keeper. Darwin number three, very nice. And another VE day. We have another active union to check it for a rotation error. No problem at all there. And here we have another VE day. And here we have Brunel's portrait. That's the second one we found. Another Charles Dickens. I think that's the fifth one. Oh, so this one here will be a Britannia, I think. Very cool, so that one's definitely a keeper. So this is the definitive design we took over from technology in 2015. 2015's the lowest mintage year of the Britannias, only 650,000 of them. 2016 does have a higher mintage, but it's still worth keeping. And then we're still on the lookout for 2021 Britannias, which are supposed to be going into circulation. Another VE day. And this one's the last bag of the hunt. And this one on the top will be something, because it's got a Jodie Clark portrait. It's another World War I Army centenary. Doesn't have a rotation error. And another World War I Army centenary. No rotation error on that one either. Okay, I'm gonna double check all the coins now, make sure I didn't miss anything the first time round, and I'll post back in a second with what I find. Okay, I checked through all the coins and I didn't find anything else of interest. Let's have a closer look at the best finds from the hunt. Uh, so it started off absolutely brilliantly with that Royal Navy centenary, and then it kind of fizzled out a bit. But we did get some low tier keepers. We have a couple of Shakespeare histories, Shakespeare's comedies, uh, three Charles Darwins, a 2016 Britannia, three Robert Burns, but of course the star find has to be this one here, the Royal Navy Centenary. Low mintage, only 650,000, so an excellent find. Thank you as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time for another coin hunt.